Chrome OS is a Linux-based operating system developed and designed by Google. It is derived from the open-source Chromium OS and uses the Google Chrome web browser as its principal user interface. It shares similarities with Android, another operating system also designed by Google. Google announced the project in July 2009, initially describing it as an operating system where applications and user data would reside in the cloud. Chrome OS was used primarily to run web applications. All Chromium OS and Chrome OS versions support progressive web applications, such as Google Docs or Microsoft Office 365, as well as web browser extensions, which can resemble native applications. Chrome OS, but not Chromium OS, from 2016 onwards can also run Android applications from Google Play. Since 2018, Chromium OS slash Chrome OS version 69 onwards also support Linux applications, which are executed in a lightweight virtual machine with a Debian environment. The operating system is now usually evaluated in conjunction with the hardware that it runs on. To ascertain marketing requirements, developers relied on informal metrics, including monitoring the usage patterns of 200 machines used by Google employees. Developers also noted their own usage patterns. Chrome OS was initially intended for secondary devices like netbooks, and not as a user's primary PC. Google requested that its hardware partners use solid-state drives for performance and reliability reasons as well as the lower capacity requirements inherent in an operating system that accesses applications and most user data on remote servers. In November 2009, Matthew Papa Kippos, engineering director for the Chrome OS, announced that Chrome OS would only support solid-state storage, not mechanical hard disks, and noted that Chrome OS only required 1 60th as much drive space as Windows 7. Ten years later, in 2019, the recovery images Google provided for Chrome OS was still only between 1 and 3 GB in size. Chrome OS is a cloud-based system, so it encourages its users to store files in Google Drive, Google's online storage solution, and a direct competitor to Microsoft OneDrive, formerly SkyDrive. In 2010, Google released the unbranded CR48 Chromebook in a pilot program. The launch date for retail hardware featuring Chrome OS was delayed from late 2010 until the next year. On May 11, 2011, Google announced two Chromebooks from Acer and Samsung at Google I.O. The Samsung model was released on June 15, 2011, and the Acer model in mid-July. In August 2011, Netflix announced official support for Chrome OS through its streaming service, allowing Chromebooks to watch streaming movies and TV shows via Netflix. Laptops running Chrome OS are known collectively as Chromebooks. The first was the CR48, a reference hardware design that Google gave to testers and reviewers beginning in December 2010. Retail machines followed in May 2011. A year later, in May 2012, a desktop design marketed as a Chromebox was released by Samsung. In March 2015 a partnership with Open was announced and the first commercial Chromebox was developed. The software and updates are limited in their support lifetime. Each device model manufactured to run Chrome OS has a different end of life date, with all new devices released in 2020 and beyond guaranteed to receive a minimum of 8 years from their date of initial release. As of version 78, the device's end-of-life date for software updates is listed in about Chrome OS, additional details. In March 2010, Google software security engineer Will Dury discussed Chrome OS security. Dury described Chrome OS as a hardened operating system featuring auto-updating and sandbox features that would reduce malware exposure. He said that Chrome OS netbooks would be shipped with trusted platform module, TPM and include both a trusted boot path and a physical switch under the battery compartment that activates the developer mode. That mode drops some specialized security functions but increases developer flexibility. 
Jury also emphasized that the open source nature of the operating system would contribute greatly to its security by allowing constant developer feedback. At a December 2010 press conference, Google declared that Chrome OS would be the most secure consumer operating system due in part to a verified bootability, in which the initial boot code, stored in read-only memory, checks for system compromises. In the following nine years, Chrome OS has been affected by 55 documented security flaws of any severity, compared with over 1,100 affecting Microsoft Windows 10 in the five years to the end of 2019 and over 2,200 affecting Apple OS X in 20 years. Design goals for Chrome OS user interface included using minimal screen space by combining applications and standard web pages into a single tab strip rather than separating the two. Designers considered a reduced window management scheme that would operate only in full screen mode. Secondary tasks would be handled with panels, floating windows that dock to the bottom of the screen for tasks like chat and music players. Split screens were also under consideration for viewing two pieces of content side by side. Chrome OS would follow the Chrome browser's practice of leveraging HTML5's offline modes, background processing, and notifications. Designers proposed using search and pen tabs as a way to quickly locate and access applications. At its debut, Chrome OS was viewed as a competitor to Microsoft, both directly to Microsoft Windows and indirectly the company's word processing and spreadsheet applications, the latter through Chrome OS reliance on cloud computing. But Chrome OS engineering director Matthew Papakippos argued that the two operating systems would not fully overlap in functionality because Chrome OS is intended for netbooks, which lack the computational power to run a resource-intensive program like Adobe Photoshop. Some observers claimed that other operating systems already filled the niche that Chrome OS was aiming for, with the added advantage of supporting native applications in addition to a browser. Tony Bradley of PC World wrote in November 2009, We can already do most, if not all, of what Chrome OS promises to deliver. Using a Windows 7 or Linux-based netbook, users can simply not install anything but a web browser and connect to the vast array of Google products and other web-based services and applications. Netbooks have been successful at capturing the low-end PC market and they provide a web-centric computing experience today. I am not sure why we should get excited that a year from now we'll be able to do the same thing, but locked into doing it from the fourth place web browser. In 2016, Chromebooks were the most popular computer in the US K-12 education market. By 2017, the Chrome browser had risen to become their number one browser used worldwide. In 2020, Chromebooks became the second most popular and user-oriented OS, growing from 6.4% in 2019 to 10.8% in 2020. The majority of growth came at Windows expense, which fell from 85.4% in 2019 to 80.5% in 2021. Chrome OS uses the same release system as Google Chrome. There are three distinct channels stable, beta, and developer preview, called the dev channel. The stable channel is updated with features and fixes that have been thoroughly tested in the beta channel, and the beta channel is updated approximately once a month with stable and complete features from the developer channel. New ideas get tested in the developer channel, which can be very unstable at times. A fourth canary channel was confirmed to exist by Google developer Francois Beaufort and hacker Kenny Strawn by entering the Chrome OS shell in developer mode, typing the command shell to access the bash shell, and finally entering the command update underscore engine underscore client channel canary channel update. It is possible to return to the verified boot mode after entering the canary channel, but the channel updated disappears and the only way to return to another channel is using the power wash factory reset. Chrome OS is partially developed under the open-source Chromium OS project. As with other open-source projects, 
developers can modify the code from Chromium OS and build their own versions, whereas Chrome OS code is only supported by Google and its partners and only runs on hardware designed for the purpose. Unlike Chromium OS, Chrome OS is automatically updated to the latest version. Alrighty, that's it for this video folks. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.